What's going on guys? First of all, this is Martyrs Brigade 99 coming to you once again with another session of Hitman Absolution. Alright guys, we're back at it once again. And you know, after playing this game for a full week now, I think I finally know exactly what I want to do with regard to this game on my channel. Now, um, last week, uh, I think I uploaded my first two videos. And it was basically an introduction. Right, I didn't really play the game that much. I was still involved in a lot of Dark Souls. Um, but, you know, I just completed the first two stages and that was pretty much it. I didn't really pay a lot of attention to the objectives. I didn't really pay attention um, to a lot of things. You know, but after investing a lot of time into this game, you know, I mean, basically all week I haven't even played any Dark Souls. I've just invested the vast majority, actually I can't even say the vast majority, all of my PlayStation time into um, Hitman Absolution. So I finally know exactly what I want to do. Um, you see, there's a lot of people who are um, into just completing the story and then going into the contracts. And, you know, if you just want to complete the story, anyone can just kind of run into this game. And, you know, like I said last week, like Wyatt Earp, two guns blazing and just shoot through the end of the game. Anyone can do that. The game is a lot more satisfying, in my personal opinion, when you try to satisfy and complete all of the objectives. Right? Because a lot of them are very difficult to satisfy. Some of them are hard to figure out. Case in point, here's one right here, Modern Art. I don't know how many times I played through this particular stage before I finally figured out that that's what, that was what I had to do. Right, because when I thought of modern art, I was too busy looking at the photos, right, uh, uh, in the home that you guys are going to see a little later on. Right, you guys are going to see is I mean, well, actually, I'm not going to say anything about it. You guys are going to see in a little bit. I was too busy looking at those photos and trying to figure out what in the world, you know, was I supposed to do with those photos? How was I supposed to get a successful kill by using them? You know, until I kind of went through this part and I said, hold on, that monument in the middle looks exactly like the picture of the modern art accomplishment. Now, after I finally figured that out, I had to figure out, okay, now how am I supposed to kill my enemies? You know, how, am I, how in the world am I supposed to get a kill by using that, you know? So I started to shoot the monument, I threw bricks at it, I threw books at it. Nothing worked until I finally Use shot the stem. Or consult the radar to locate the exit. All this goes to say that um, I really think that this is a good game. I really do. I've invested a full week into it. And I'm really trying to get the most out of this play by uh, the completing the objectives. Not only completing the objectives, but trying to get as much of it as I can because there are a lot of objectives in here that are not obvious they're not apparent they're not easy right and it takes a lot of tactics and a lot of strategy and a lot of patience if you want to satisfy as many objectives as you can so what I'm gonna do you guys are gonna take a little ride with me for all you guys that are you know maybe you're kind of interested in this game maybe you're not maybe you're just kind of curious or for a lot of you guys that made the same investment as me and you know maybe you're kind of playing through the game and you're like dude I don't know how in the world do I get through this part hopefully I would be able to shed some light on a lot of the things that I have figured out myself and perhaps through the comments maybe some of you guys can kind of Help me out with some things that I, I mean, can't even figure out myself. The greenhouse right. the so, so far we have satisfied the modern art objective. Right. There's the another stands. objective. And I think you have to be costumed. I think you have to dress yourself in four costumes. In disguise, now, here's the gardener. One of the two guards that I just killed, right, in a previous segment, I should have dressed up like one of them too. 
right and after reviewing you this whole thing and I noticed I only got three costumes I'm like you know what I'm not going to play through this whole thing twice so I'll just make sure that I make a uh, verbal and mental note about it right? to the extent that you guys are not clear just take the uniforms from one of these security guys and that will be another chameleon objective that you've satisfied I think there's a total of four alright so we're going to go ahead and distract these guys perfect just perfect Good enough, and now that they are distracted, we can go ahead and pursue and uh, uh, proceed on. All right, now uh, there's a prompt that basically says that. Now here's another thing. I think I found every single weapon on this stage except for the hand axe. I don't know where in the world the hand axe is. Now, I didn't think it was in the house mainly because the house was too clean. It just didn't look like a hand axe would belong there. Maybe a knife, yes. You know, maybe something else, yes. But a hand axe, not at all. I finally was able to find the hammer over in the area where you get the modern art accomplishment. Right, and it's right over in there in that area, but I still haven't found the hand axe. I found the book, I found everything else. Before I finish, here is the Geronimo. Right, just satisfied the Geronimo objective. Okay, now, um, so, you know, if you guys kind of have this game and you found the hand axe, I mean, just kind of leave me a comment so I can figure out where in the world is it, right? Because I'm trying to get all of the objectives complete for each stage that I'm able to play. Now, here's a piece of evidence. We're going to go ahead and disguise ourselves again so we can satisfy uh, another check mark in the chameleon objectives. All right, we're going to go ahead and disable the security, the security system, as you guys can see. Beyond this door, the rating system will be turned on. It will monitor your play style and reward your progress. All right, and we've finally made it inside. Now, there's a lot of things that I didn't know last week when I did this initial play and upload that we're going to go through now. Right, now... Um, there are so many ways to satisfy each one of these stages. Some of them will earn you a silent assassin. Some veteran, some shadow, some, I mean, you're just a maniac. <laughs> right? But we're going to, we're not really going to concentrate on always getting silent assassin because we're trying to complete every objective, as we, you know, as many objectives as we can. Now, that will include picking up almost every weapon that is available in that particular stage. Now, if you guys just noticed, we just got the sleeping pills. Um, there's a statue that I picked up, not because I needed it, right, but because that's one of the items that's in the inventory listing. All right, so we're going to take those sleeping pills, and another one of the objectives is drugging the cook. So this is how you're going to do it. You're going to sit here, right, and you're going to wait. You don't want to stand. Because to the extent that you guys are kind of new to the game, uh, your disguises only work in so far as the same characters dressed in the same disguises as you. It's not close. So in other words, I have on the interior security uniform. So that uh, security guy, you know, just kind of like right across from me, if he were to see me, he would be suspicious. However... If it's just me and the cook, the cook would not be suspicious, right? So this is why I'm hiding, because I wouldn't want the other security guy to be suspicious. So I'm just going to wait until this dialogue is over, right? As soon as he completes his turn, I start proceeding toward the door. I'm going to go ahead, put some in the, uh, I'm going to go ahead, drug his, I don't know, was that soup, stew, whatever it is, right? Now... You guys are going to notice he's going to be standing there and there's another guy right there, right? Both of those guys are security. But they're having a dialogue, so you don't really want to mess with them at this point. Now, uh, what's going to happen with the cook? He's going to go taste his stew or his spaghetti or whatever it is that he's making. After he tastes it, he's going to get a little dose of sleeping medicine, right? And then he's going to fall off and go to sleep. But let's just go ahead and take care of this next. See, here he goes right here. He's tasting it. So he's going to fall asleep real soon. Right? And that will satisfy another objective. Now, you want to run in here right now 
and put this guy to sleep. Now, why do I say that? If you don't take care of this guy, right, there's a certain objective wherein you kind of uh, kill somebody. I don't know if you kill him or knock him out by basically dropping the piano top on him. If this guy is still alive, you will not be able to satisfy that objective. I don't know how many times I had to play through this just to figure the it out. I tried everything, pressing R1, using instinct, everything. None of it worked. Now, if you notice, this guy's drugged. Right? And I just completed an objective, and I just got another disguise. Right? So, four of four chameleons. So we satisfy each one of those objective. Interior guard, chef, exterior guard, and the gardener. So we're going to go ahead and hide his body. Now, I don't think any of those interior security guys are going to patrol this area. But it's just good. right? It's just good to go ahead and uh, conceal the bodies. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put some sleeping medication for this. And this is how we will get the uh, security card from the head of security. Now, there's another way that you can do it. And I'm not going to play this stage again, but one of those ways is, if you guys notice a few minutes back, there was a guy up top, and I kind of lodged him over the ledge. And actually, before I get into that, here's the second piece of evidence. All right? Evidence collector. Two of two. So we're good with regard to evidence. Now, if you guys notice, I'm not suspicious to anyone, and you can go ahead and grab that. There's another item in your inventory. He just drank the, uh, the concoction. You know, the nice little con con concoction we made for him. But like I was saying, there was a guy up top that I lodged him over, over the balcony. Right? You don't mean. He was standing in front of a control switch that controlled the shades. Now, once you open those shades, the security guy will come upstairs to shut the shades. And that's when you can kind of put him to sleep and take the uh, security card from that point. However, if you want to satisfy an objective, this is what you need to do. No one's going to know. Same thing we did with the chef. You guys notice he's passed out. So we're going to go ahead and take the security guard, I mean security card, excuse me, tighten him up, stow him away so that no one can see him, right, because we wouldn't want to draw any suspicion the toward our activities. There is no more room for additional bodies. And I think pretty much we're good to go, and actually, actually we're not good to go. Now, had I not taken care of that interior security guard, there would be one right over near the piano, right? But since we've taken care of him, we don't have to worry about him. And I think this is the reason why I was able to satisfy that objective. Now, if you guys notice, I'm picking up a radio. Not for any particular reason, but I do know that the radio is one of the items in the inventory. So all I have to do is pick it up, and it's good. All right, so he's over here at the piano. You guys notice the guard, the far guard, is looking away. The other guard is kind of looking straight, not paying any attention to me. What the? And we got the play it again objective. So we're good to go. So at this point, we have completed the vast majority of the objectives. Now, um, there's a few objectives that I have yet to satisfy. And I can't really think of them off the top of my head. But um, I think there's like a, a remain unseen in the fort, I mean, in the uh, little garden. I don't think I've satisfied that one. I'm not really sure. But um, I think that's pretty much it. I think I've satisfied almost all, although I haven't completed all of the objectives within this particular stage. Right? So kind of next time I'm you know, kind of paying attention to it, I'll be able to go through it. Infiltrator, I think. I think Infiltrator. Somewhere I didn't infiltrate. I don't know why. Maybe I was seen somewhere. But I think Infiltrator is probably one of the last few. I know there's no more than three that I need to finalize this. You know, finalize it meaning and not only completing the stage, but also satisfying each and every objective. And actually, here's the light switch right here. Now, one thing that you guys need to pay attention to, if you guys uh, uh, raise the shades before you kill that guy at the piano, he will not go over to the piano and you will not be able to satisfy that objective. So keep in mind, you, kinda, you might want to do it in the same order that I did because if you open the shades first, 
you will not be able to satisfy that objective. Everything we stand for. All right, so here comes a cutscene, but I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward through it. I mean, it was kind of included in the video last week, right? Got a quick shower scene right there, and this is pretty much it. Right, so stay tuned for the next couple vids, and we're going to kind of do the same thing. It's basically going to be a sort of thorough walkthrough. It will be thorough in so far as I have been able to satisfy certain objectives, and I will kind of share that information with you guys. All right, guys, well, that is it for a personal contract. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and, you know, kind of... Uh, learn something because I know how to play through this thing several times before I figured a lot of this out. Alright, guys, until next time, Martyrs Brigade is.